I, I'm an academic at Nottingham, uh, associate professor, and I work teaching security. I research teaching AI and, and computer vision. It just happened that we have some ties at, at Nottingham to Brady and Sean, who do things like number file and computer file. And so computer file was kind of fledgling. It had, it had a bit of, it was a bit established when I, when I started doing them. And it kind yeah. of just took, took off really. Um, I think because I did topics on security and AI and things, people thought those were interesting. And so I get, you know, a lot of views on those now. But it is still a bit peculiar when people say hello to me, you know, um, because I just turn up and do normal things the rest of the time. So, so you get stopped in the street and I'm... I'm uh, it assuming... has happened. Yeah. M my wife is never impressed when that happens. She just thinks <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, but, but, you know, um, it, ha it happens from time to time. I, I, do, I, do, I do really enjoy it. And I get lots of emails from people saying, thanks for your videos. I, I enjoy them. And that's, that's why I do it. Um, it, that's that's what it's for for me. And I loved what you said offline. You know, someone said that they um, started computer science because of you. Um, that's I've a had a couple of emails like that, and that's the those are the best emails, right? Because I want people to learn about computer science. I love computers. I'm a massive geek, basically. I program for fun, and the more people do that, the more it's a win for me. So, you know, if I can encourage a few people by doing videos. That, that's what I really want to do. That's fantastic. I um, One of the videos I watched, obviously, in preparation for this interview is this recent inter uh, video that you put out um, about AI. Yeah. And um, that's going to be the topic that we want to talk about today. Um, so let me lead with this. Um, I get this e these kind of emails all the time. David, is it worth me studying cybersecurity? David, is it worth me studying computers? Because AI are going to take all the jobs away. And um, I think movies over the years, like, um, you know, there's been so many of these movies where the robots take over. Mm. And um, this, can you talk about this? Um, and you can go into the details if you like, but I think this 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 sort of recent um, event that you spoke about in your video hasn't helped the conversation at all. So can you tell us about that yeah, and what your thoughts are about, you know, what happened? Yeah, so, no, I, I absolutely agree, but it didn't help the conversation. And that was, okay, I think, when, in my video, that was kind of what I tried to end with, was basically, it doesn't, I, you know, in some sense, the nuances of, of, of where this AI is doesn't interest me that much. All I know is it's not where they're suggesting it is. At least that's, you know, that's what, what I think. I mean, yeah. I suppose at the moment, AI is very application-driven, right? So a lot of it is supervised. There is, there is other ways of doing it, but a lot of it's supervised, which means that you have some kind of training set with some inputs and some outputs that you're trying to get the model to learn, and then you just train the model until that happens. That can work really, really, really well. And so for my own research, I do this on things like image segmentation, where I'm trying to find objects in images, and you know, medical image segmentation and things like this. But you know, in practice, if I then take that network and try and run it on street scenes, it won't work because it's not trained on street scenes. It doesn't know what they are. It hasn't got any ability to go, oh, it's a street now, you know, and, and take what it's learned somewhere and apply it somewhere else. You know, retraining a network is really the only way to do it. And that involves even more data, right? So I don't think at the moment it's realistic to suggest that there's going to be some general intelligence that can just do all of our jobs right you know you've seen github copilot that just produces text uh, code and sometimes it will produce a useful function and sometimes it will produce a function full of bugs that you've got to then yeah. spend time fixing and have you actually saved any time i don't know the jury's <laughs> out i think i so I wouldn't worry at the moment. I'm not worried. I mean, maybe designing things to replace myself is a huge mistake, uh, but I don't think we're there yet.